2011. And folks, since that time, they have contributed a grand total of $1.4 million to the Teach Ag campaign. How about that? $1.4 million. $1.4 million since 2011. And, and we, are, we are so pleased with, with what they've done to help us with the campaign. They've not only helped us out with the Teach Ag campaign, but they've also helped us out uh, with CASE. They have been a tremendous sponsor of the Curriculum for Agricultural Sciences Education. And we appreciate all of their support that they've done for school-based agricultural education all through our wonderful partner, the National FFA Foundation. And so let me just do a quick shout out here to all of the folks that are here. And I know here in the live audience today, we have a number of staff from the FFA Foundation. And my friends, let me also say thank you to you. And I'm not going to call your names because I'll miss somebody, but I see several of you out in the room, and we sure appreciate everything that you do because without your support, uh, for agricultural education, not only would the Teach Ag campaign not be as successful as it is, but school-based agricultural education would not be what it is today without the wonderful support of the National FFA Foundation staff and all of the corporate sponsors and individuals that contribute to school-based ag education through the National FFA Foundation. So thank you, FFA Foundation. So today, we are going to recognize uh, at this, at this uh, uh, pre-event, this pre-announcement, uh, the CHS and the CHS Foundation. And we have with us today from CHS, and they're not going to come forward just yet, but we have three representatives from CHS with us, Mark Biedenfeld, Dan Mack, and Mark Farrell. But to further this announcement and celebration, I want to introduce and bring forward my friend, Molly Ball. Here she is. Molly is president of the National FFA Foundation. Please welcome Molly. <laughs> and she's going to continue with our celebration. Molly. Thanks, Jay. This is an, indeed an exciting day, an exciting announcement this morning. Thanks to all the, the folks, the hard work of the National FFA Foundation, but also the partnership that we've had with the CHS Foundation and CHS for over 41 years. National FFA has been a partner and has loved the relationship with CHS for 41 years. And we celebrate their commitment today as they join the likes of other partners who we've had for a long time with John Deere, Zoetis, RFD TV, Monsanto, Tractor Supply Company. They join us as a platinum sponsor. And what does a platinum sponsor mean? That means they give over a million dollars to the National FFA and National FFA Foundation in agricultural education. CHS's investment is in, in the future, future of food, fiber, and natural resources. All that agriculture encompasses and all that our teachers are doing to teach in the classroom to ensure the brightest and the best are entering the food and fiber and natural resources industry. We need to shape agriculture teachers for the future, and today is just a day to celebrate, but each day at the National FFA headquarters and with Ag Education, we celebrate all of you, the future of agriculture. So CHS, along with our partners, uh, DuPont, Pioneer, BASF, Growth Energy, and Bread Brand, understand the key to success is through education. So thanks to CHS for being a leader in the quality and diverse agricultural teacher recruitment and retention efforts. It's so incredibly important for us to recruit and retain the best teachers for agricultural education so that we have the future of food and we can strengthen agriculture and build our communities. We are so, so excited to be here today and so excited to make this announcement. So I'll call my friend from CHS up, Mark Biedenfeld, to help with the announcement. Mark. And I will uh, call up, uh, actually, if we can just put that aside. And I will call up uh, the two folks uh, with CHS that were also mentioned earlier uh, Mark Farrell uh, from our board of directors, lives in rural Wisconsin, is coming up first. And then Dan Mack, who uh, not only is a wonderful employee of CHS, is the opportunity to lead our terminal and transportation operations from a grain marketing and agronomy perspective but he also sits on the National FFA Sponsor Board. So thank you both for, for being here. And on behalf of the over 11,000 employees and 625,000 producer owners that represent CHS Inc. today, we're really excited to be with you. We're really humbled and, and, and because we're so honored here, I've actually got some, uh, some uh, uh, prepared remarks I'd like to go through before we get to the, the big announcement. So. Uh, thank you again, Molly. It's my pleasure to be here with you. As I mentioned, I'm Mark Biedenfeld. I get the opportunity to lead a couple of corporate functions at CHS, Alliance Solutions, as well as our stewardship area, which would encompass 
corporate citizenship, and then, of course, the CHS Foundation. You know, when I'm out in the country talking to some of our owners from time to time, it, it might surprise some of you folks, uh, uh, particularly from an agricultural producer perspective, things such as the markets, such as weather, while they're important things, oftentimes they're not the most important things that are on our owners' minds. Uh, farmers and cooperatives are continually asking us, uh, how do we get young people to participate and involved, engaged and prepared for the future in agriculture? The agricultural industry in total, and it's a wonderful opportunity that all of us know and, and have a chance to, to, to live with and, and work on a daily basis. And I often respond by saying it's a great question, and we're helping to find that answer each and every day. One of the core focus areas of the CHS Foundation is uh, to develop the, the next generation of agricultural leaders through education and professional development opportunities. Uh, this is a classic example of that here today that we're talking about. And the answer to getting young people engaged in agriculture from our perspective is also part of the reason that uh, you know, we are here today. Developing that next generation of agricultural leaders isn't something that the CHS Foundation can accomplish alone. We rely on our strong partnership with National FFA, National Teach Ag, as well as other folks within the agricultural industry from a broader perspective to help us do that. And today we're extremely proud and humbled to announce that uh, the CHS Foundation will contribute $3.8 million over the next three years to National FFA and National Teach Ag. Thank you, we, we appreciate that. And, and this grant's going to, to build upon some of the existing support uh, of, of proficiencies of CDEs in the National Teach Ag STAR program. It also includes new funding for Case Institute teacher scholarships. That's an incredibly important opportunity that we're excited to support. As well as developing a curriculum to teach students about cooperatives. Support of the New Century Farmer program and transition our state FFA grant front support to the National Office for Administrative Purposes. And through all of these different endeavors, this commitment by the CHS Foundation is helping ensure today's students understand the fundamentals of agriculture through hands-on STEM-based education. And we're here helping address the agricultural teacher shortage through National Teach Ag's work to retain ag teachers and find the future ag teachers that all of us, of course, will need and be looking for. We're also excited about partnering to create new opportunities around cooperative education curriculum. As the charitable giving arm of CHS Inc., uh, you know, we are the nation's leading and largest farmer-owned cooperative, and we recognize the importance of the cooperative business model to not only helping farmers stay profitable, but also be successful for the long run. And by partnering with National Teach Ag to develop curriculum and working with ag educators to reach more than 650,000 students with FFA, we are here helping ensure a strong cooperative system for many years to come. So in closing, I want to say thank you to a few folks. I want to say thank you to National FFA. You know, Maggie Stith is out here in the audience. We appreciate the support that Maggie and others with FFA provide CHS and the CHS Foundation. Uh, and of course, we'd like to thank National Teach Ag Ellen Thompson, you've been a wonderful partner, as well as the other folks at National Teach Ag, and we can't thank you enough for the, for the opportunity to be here with you today. You know, we'd also like to thank the, the, the teachers, particularly the ag teachers that we're, we're here to, uh, to recognize and work with, who work tirelessly on behalf of the industry and on behalf of their students and their students' parents and families to make sure that the opportunities are available and are executed upon within the agricultural industry. And lastly, and, and most importantly, we'd like to thank the students. You know, it's a wonderful opportunity you have within agriculture. I, I hope all of you understand that and understand what is in front of you and just the tremendous opportunities that you have. And we want you to take advantage of that. And we're hopeful that CHS and the CHS Foundation, through this gift that we just announced, can be a small part of making sure that the agricultural industry and you as students can be successful for years to come. So with that, thank you. Fantastic. Lowering a little bit for me. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs>
with is it is this podium movable? Can we just scoot this podium over? Roll it down a little bit. Can I move this here? So, okay. is this? Can one cache this? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got routing numbers on it. I don't know. Maybe lower it just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Can we drop it?